Welcome developers. Thank you for joining me today as we explore the incredible potential of the Lead Tools SDK. Lead Tools is a powerful software development toolkit designed to help developers like you create robust applications with advanced document and image processing capabilities. With its comprehensive set of libraries, Lead Tools enables you to easily integrate features such as OCR, ICR, barcode, PDF, forms processing, e-signatures, DICOM compliance, image processing, and much more into your applications. Whether you're working on a cross-platform solution or targeting a specific platform, the Lead Tools SDK is engineered to accommodate a broad range of development requirements. This ultimately results in simplified application development, accelerated productivity, and enhanced end-user satisfaction. In this video, we'll dive deeper into the Lead Tools SDK and demonstrate how you can harness its power to create innovative applications with ease. So let's get started and unlock the true potential of your applications using Lead Tools. We'll begin by navigating to the live document viewer demo that's available on our website, where you can test the capabilities of the viewer firsthand. On startup, it loads a sample PDF that you can navigate. You can see the smooth vertical scrolling, thumbnail support, and pagination features of the document viewer, which provide an exceptional user experience, all of which is customizable to fit your needs. Let's now explore the annotation capabilities. The Lead Tools document viewer supports over 30 different annotation types. Here, we'll demonstrate three of them, showcasing the versatility and ease of use of this feature. You can export these annotations in a variety of formats, including embedded PDF annotations, or conversion to other popular annotation formats for seamless collaboration with your team and document management system. Next, we'll dive into the built-in automatic redaction tool powered by the Lead Tools Document Analyzer. We'll select a sample PDF containing sensitive information and apply a predefined rule set and the redactor action. When I hit commit and apply, the document viewer will automatically redact all of the sensitive information, ensuring the document viewer's confidentiality as you can see here. Finally, let's showcase the document viewer's versatility by loading a video file. As you can see, the viewer seamlessly supports the video conversion and playback, maintaining the same user experience and interface as for other file types. Now let's dive into a demo of the Lead Tools document editor that is also available on our website as seen here. Once the demo loads, a sample file will be visible. As we scroll through the document, you'll see that the editor efficiently displays the entire file. The Lead Tools document editor offers essential editing features that developers and end users have come to expect. Let's select some text in the sample document and apply bold, underline, and italic formatting to demonstrate these capabilities. Next, we'll showcase the intelligent handling of embedded images. As we move an image within the document, notice how the text wraps around it seamlessly providing a superior editing experience compared to many other editors. Finally, let's demonstrate the export functionality. The Lead Tools document editor supports various export formats, including PDF, ensuring that your documents are compatible with a wide range of applications. In this segment, I'll demonstrate our publicly accessible e-signature demo. Upon loading, the demo prompts us to enter a list of signers. We'll input two names and initials and then proceed. Next, we'll scroll to the bottom and generate the signature and initial fields by pressing the button and aligning them to the document. After completing this step, in a real-world scenario, we would then export the PDF and send it to the signers via email or other electronic methods. For this demo, we'll simply click on Start Signing to showcase the signing process as a signee. First, let's sign as John Doe. Notice how he can only sign on the fields associated with that name. We'll click on the signature field, draw a signature, and press adopt. Then, I will click on the initial field to add our initials. Once done, we'll press switch signer. In a real workflow, the document would be sent to the next signer, but we'll continue the demo with our current setup. Now, we'll repeat the process as Richard Kenton, signing and initialing the appropriate fields. Once completed, we can then export and digitally sign the document, finalizing it as a fully signed and secure PDF. 
next section, we will demonstrate the powerful PDF form field support provided by the Lead Tools Document Viewer. We'll begin by navigating to the demo on our website and loading the sample file. This sample file showcases six different types of PDF form fields. As we scroll through the document, we'll interact with each field, changing the options to highlight the viewer's interactivity with various form elements. Once we have made our selections, we'll export the PDF. This feature allows you to capture user input, creating a filled out and interactive PDF document that can be shared or stored as needed. In this segment, we will demonstrate the powerful capabilities of the Lead Tools Medical Web Viewer, an enterprise ready and DICOM compliant medical viewer solution. Let's begin by launching the demo and logging into the viewer, showcasing the integrated authentication layer. Once logged in, we can see that the viewer allows for searching by various criteria, such as patient ID, name, modality, and more. For this demo, we'll simply press search without specifying any criteria, revealing some of the sample DICOM files stored in our server. We'll select a CT scan of a skull, which loads the viewer. With the viewer loaded, we'll manually scroll through the stack of frames in the series before activating the Sine player, which automatically plays through the stack. While it's scrolling, we'll adjust the window level to get a better view of the teeth in the pixel data. Next, we'll stop the playback and press the VRT button to display the CT scan in 3D, as well as the multi-planar reconstruction or MPR slices. These generated slices and reference lines show the 3D cuts of the head, allowing doctors to scroll through the scan in all three dimensions. As we move the line on the top left axial plane, observe the coronal frame in the bottom right updating with the corresponding cut of the head. Lastly, we'll create a curved NPR or panoramic slice of the head, focusing on the teeth. This powerful feature enables doctors and radiologists to generate these images without additional radiation or scans if a CT has already been taken, as all the necessary information is available within the CT scan itself. This demonstration of the Lead Tools Medical Web Viewer highlights just a few of its many advanced features and capabilities, making it an invaluable tool for medical professionals and enhancing your application's medical imaging functionality. Now that we've walked through some of the demos available on our website and the different functionality, I'm going to walk you through what's included when you install the Lead Tools SDK. You can download and install the full Lead Tools SDK directly from our site for a 60 day evaluation. The installation provides all the necessary binaries along with fully sourced example code for all the demos we've showcased and many more. Let's navigate to the source code for the document viewer demo and load it in Visual Studio. Once the project is loaded, we can explore the various components that make up the demo, giving you a deeper understanding of how it works. We'll first examine the HTML and JavaScript code responsible for the client side functionality. This code demonstrates how you can build an intuitive and responsive user interface, utilizing the powerful features provided by the Lead Tools SDK. Next, we'll delve into the .NET C# -sharp code that powers the backend service. This code is responsible for handling the server-side processing, ensuring smooth communication between the front end and the back end, and leveraging the full potential of the Lead Tools SDK. In this segment, we'll demonstrate the structured and semi-structured recognition and processing capabilities of the Lead Tools Toolkit using the .NET WinForms Master Forms Editor demo located here in the installation. We'll start by launching the demo from the installation and browsing through some of the Master Form templates that ship with the SDK. The Master Form Editor demo enables users to generate and create forms for all their structured and semi-structured documents. With the user-friendly drag-and-drop interface, you can easily specify field location and names for your forms. Once the master form templates are generated, we can then proceed to launch the forms demo itself to test it. We'll do that now and process an invoice. As you can see, the demo quickly detects the input document as an invoice using the forms recognition and selects the appropriate master form template for processing. The processing is fast and the results are displayed in the UI. 
Now, let's take a look at the UI and see how it extracted only the fields we've climbed, including all of the invoice rows. The invoice extraction works dynamically, adapting to the number of rows in the invoice, even when spanning multiple pages. Now I will demonstrate how to code using the Lead Tools SDK. I will show how quickly you can create a full-fledged document viewer application from scratch using the toolkit. As you can see, we have Visual Studio open and a new .NET 6 WinForms project ready to go. First, we'll search for and install the necessary Lead Tools media packages for this application. Next, we'll head to the form designer and add a button to load the document, as well as three panels. One for the thumbnails, one for the main viewer, and one for the annotation toolbar. We'll adjust the properties and names of the controls accordingly. Once that's done, let's head to the code behind and start coding. We'll declare our document viewer parameter and create a new method to initialize it. We'll set our evaluation license for the toolkit, then write out the rest of the initialization code. We'll pass the panel names we created in the designer to the Document Viewer Create Options class and enable the Use Annotations. We'll create our Document Viewer with these options and initialize the annotations. Next, we'll create the annotation toolbar and adjust its properties so it displays nicely in our UI. We'll add the toolbar to our list of controls and call the initialize document viewer method from the form constructor. Finally, in the button click event, we'll add the code to open a file dialog, allowing the user to select a document. Once selected, we'll set the document into the viewer, and that's it. Now, let's demo our new application. We'll launch the demo from Visual Studio and click the Load Document button. We'll select a PDF and it loads quickly. As we scroll through all five pages of the document, we can see that the thumbnails are loaded as well. On the right, we can see all of the annotations are available and we'll draw three of them on the document. As you can see, it took less than five minutes to create a fully functional document viewer application using the Lead Tools SDK. In this final part of our demonstration, we'll explore the comprehensive resources available with the toolkit. 
Let's go back to the website where we find complete documentation for every platform, namespace, class, property, method, and event. Additionally, most pages feature example code illustrating how these components should be used in an application. During the 60-day evaluation and after purchase of the Lead Tools Toolkit, expert technical support is provided and here to help along the way of the development process. The documentation offers step-by-step -step tutorials for each programming language we support. You can search for specific keywords, filter by certain criteria, or simply navigate the wizard to find the tutorial you're looking for. For example, let's click on the Getting Started Tutorials box, then .NET 6, and finally the Load and Save Images tutorial. As we scroll through, you can see the detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to achieve the desired functionality. Also, on every page of the website, live technical chat agents are available to help with any questions about the SDK. You can access them by clicking on the chat button at the bottom right of all the pages. Just enter your name, email, and question, and a live agent will quickly assist you. For over 30 years now, Lead Tools AI powered, low code SDKs have been used by thousands of developers worldwide and trusted by many Fortune 1000 companies. You can see these customer testimonials on our site that whether it's one of our many customers who have been with us for more than 20 years, or a new startup trying to hit the ground running with our powerful, time-tested technologies, all of our customers have had achieved success by integrating lead tools into their applications. Thank you so much for watching. We encourage you to download and try the Lead Tools Toolkit, which is available for free for a 60-day evaluation period. It comes with access to fully sourced demos referenced in this session, along with our extensive documentation, tutorial, and technical support. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. If you're going to be in Seattle during the Microsoft Build Conference, we'd love for you to stop by and see us at our expert meetup in the Developer Tools Room 328. You're also welcome to join me live in Seattle at my demo session and watch me build a complete document viewer in less than 15 minutes using Lead Tools. We look forward to meeting you and assisting you with your development needs. Once again, thank you for your time and interest in Lead Tools. We hope you'll find our SDK to be the perfect solution for your application development requirements.